Hey there, Empowered Peeps. I'm Ryan to the rescue. And today we're going to clean our refrigerator coils. Have you ever done that before? Well, today's the day. And we're gonna start with taking things off of the top of the refrigerator. Let me do that now. Remember, And while we're at the top of the refrigerator, go ahead and get a wet washcloth and give that a swipe because if yours is like mine, it's pretty dusty up there. All right, got that accomplished. Now, before we pull out the refrigerator, we're gonna pull off the grate that's way down at the bottom in the front of the fridge. So this front cover is held on by some clips and you can just grab it and pull it right off. And as you can see, it's very dirty and dusty. So I'm gonna go give that a good cleaning. All right, before we get started, let me show you all of the tools and products that I'll be using today. Okay, I bought this set of uh, bristle brushes on Amazon and they're made specifically for cleaning coils. So I would recommend those. And then I also got this one. This is really, really soft. It's made out of goat hair. And so that would be a really good thing to have to just be really gentle on the coils. And then these you can scrub better with. And I also like to use this for cleaning. And we'll need a flashlight to see underneath the refrigerator and back inside of the coils. And then here is a flexible vacuum hose that I got. And then for the front, I am going to finish it all off by cleaning it with stainless steel cleaner. I like to use Wyman, so I'll be using that and a soft cloth. So you can gather and buy all of these supplies if you want and do the project along with me. And I'll put links for everything in the description below if you wanna buy the exact products that I'm using. I have a gross experiment to share with you at the end, so you'll wanna stay tuned for that. But for now, let's go ahead and get to cleaning the fridge. Oh, yuck. Wow. This is like fluffy clouds of dust under here. So I'm vacuuming it out with my regular vacuum attachment. And that is the water hose that is utterly coated in dust. And underneath is the floor. So I'm going to mop that later. Now here we have some a small section of coils here in the front of the refrigerator. So I'm gonna vacuum those off too. Okay, so I just got it all vacuumed out underneath the front of the fridge. And I started out by using this vacuum attachment that came with my vacuum. And it only goes so far, plus it's rigid. So I decided to move to this long flexible one. And though this one was on Amazon as a universal vacuum attachment, it didn't actually fit my vacuum. So I used duct tape. So is this ideal? No. But since I became a widow about two years ago, I have become the queen of improvising. So it still got the job done, so let's carry on. Your refrigerator coils are going to be on the back of the fridge, way down at the bottom or underneath. Different makes are different ways. And if you have a refrigerator where the freezer is up on the top, then go around to the back and there'll be coils up at the top for the freezer and down at the bottom for their fridge. When you pull your refrigerator out, if you're concerned about the wheels or any other parts scraping your floor, you can put a big piece of cardboard right in front of your fridge and then roll the refrigerator forward onto the piece of cardboard. And then you can slide the fridge on the cardboard wherever you need it to be while you do the cleaning process. Now we pull out the fridge, it's on wheels, so we should be able to do it alone, but just in case you have back problems or it's just too heavy for you, go ahead and get a friend to help you with this task. There we go, I got it all the way out. Be careful not to pull your refrigerator out so far that you're causing tension on the water line. And since we're going to be working on the refrigerator, let's unplug it. So on the back of the refrigerator, there's a plate and it's held on by screws with a hex head. And we're going to remove that. And what you're gonna need is a socket set. 
Now, don't be intimidated by a socket set. I go into detail about how to use one in this video right here. So you can take a look at that. But I'll give you a brief little rundown today. So in this socket set, I'll be using this one. We need the 1 fourth inch socket. And then you're going to pop it into this adapter. There we go. And then it goes right into your impact driver. If you don't have or don't know how to use an impact driver, you can watch this video right here where I go into detail how to use this really cool tool. So you pop this right in here. It has a quick release feature. And then make sure it's in the reverse position. All right, now let's go take some screws out of the back of the fridge. Removing hex head screws would be kind of difficult if you didn't have the right tool. So be sure to take the time to get out your socket set and have the right tool for the job. It's going to make it so much easier. And here's a pro tip for you. Put your screws in a little cup. That way you don't lose them or vacuum them up. Now the back of my refrigerator panel was cardboard, if you can believe that. And in order to remove it intact, you had to detach the water line. And I didn't want to do that. So I just ripped the cardboard a little bit so that I could remove that back panel. The back coils of my refrigerator weren't nearly as dirty as I was expecting them to be. But that might be because I vacuumed pretty thoroughly in the front and it may have sucked some of the dust out from that direction. I have a lot of dust here on the side, so I'm going to address that later. But for right now, I see a leak. And I must have caused that when I was taking off the back panel. I loosened the water valve. So I now have a puddle on the floor, so that takes precedence. And again, I need to have the right tool for the job. So I'm going to use this adjustable wrench and I can just tighten it to fit exactly on the end of the water hose. Then I get the hose all tightened up and it works perfectly and voila, success. Now no more leaking, got it all dried off and good as new. So now we can get back to the coils. So let's take inventory of what we got to work with in here. It's pretty dusty. So now I'm going to get that small flexible vacuum attachment in there and start vacuuming away. But I notice that it's really kind of sticky, the lint is, and so I went ahead and got the, the stiffer bristle brush and started going at it with the bristle brush and the vacuum together. And as you can see, the bristle brush would get out tons and tons of dust bunnies, and then I would just vacuum it off as I went. Then I moved on over and started vacuuming the fan and around in that area. If you're getting value out of this content and my videos help you keep your household running and maintained really well, then I encourage you to click like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell because that way you won't miss any of the helpful how-to videos that we put out every week. Okay, let's get back to the coils. First, I use the flexible vacuum attachment to vacuum out the floor, and then I'm going to switch to the soft bristle brush that is made out of goat hair because I wanna be really gentle with these coils. So I use the bristle brush and the vacuum attachment together to really loosen and stir up all of those dust bunnies. And some of it was so gross, but it was very satisfying too. And so now we have the finished look of the whole back. And I think it's really clean. I'm very proud of how it turned out. Now we got the coils and everything all cleaned up underneath the refrigerator. Let's get it all reassembled and put back into place. Then we go ahead and get the back put right back on and might as well vacuum behind the fridge and then clean the baseboards because why not? And then since this place isn't going to see the light of day for a year, better go ahead and mop as well. Now it's time for the inspector to do her pass through. <laughs> she said it passed inspection, so we're good to proceed. Be sure to plug your refrigerator back in before you push it back into place. 
and then once it's in place, pop that front cover back in on the bottom. Take note that sometimes it's easier to get that front plate put back on with the doors open. Now since you've been intentional about upkeeping the maintenance of your refrigerator by cleaning the coils, you might want to check your fridge water filter because that might need to be changed too. It usually needs to be changed between every six months and a year depending on how much you use the water and the ice out of your fridge. So now we're all finished with that task. It wasn't that hard, but it was a little dirty and you definitely need to have the right supplies ahead of time. And now that you have these brushes, you can always use this one for your pet elephant for her mascara wand. Keeping your refrigerator coils clean is really, really important because those refrigerator coils work hard to keep your refrigerator and your freezer cold. And if they're dirty and packed up and caked up with lint, then they have to work a lot harder. And they're more prone to break down and you're gonna pay more in your energy costs. I recommend doing this cleaning and maintenance task on your refrigerator once a year. Well, we got the underside nice and clean. We might as well clean the front side too. So if you have stainless steel on your fridge, be sure to clean it with a soft cloth and rub it in the grain of the steel. Are you ready for the gross experiment? I emptied my vacuum cleaner right before I did this task because I wanted to do a little experiment and see how much dust was actually underneath my fridge. So that is disgusting. But I'm really proud that all of that dust is in my trash and not under my fridge anymore. Okay, let's keep our refrigerator running well and saving us money. We can do it.